Seascape photography seems to grab me every time I visit and immerse me in the motion and uniqueness of every wave. No two shots will ever be the same. And this is one of the reasons I love it. Now, being an outdoor photographer in Ireland, you get used to having to deal with bad weather. And as I arrived at today's location, it seemed that it could change at any moment, from rain to hopes of light in the stunning Dingle Peninsula. So with at least 30% optimism, we decided to take the short path to another gem, Dunquin's original pier, long since used, but still as raw as the rest of this coastal mecca. Myself, Dave and Ron were hopeful of what we could get, and also happy to have the laughs. Turn to walk. Back to the channel welcome back to the vlog today you join me i'm back in kerry i'm in dingle i'm on the dingle peninsula and i'm at a place actually that i haven't visited before here it's called uh, dunquin but it's not the dunquin where you get the windy pier it's the original uh, dunquin pier that would have served the blasket islands that you can see here in the distance and as you can see here there's some nice swells of the waves that are coming down behind us so what i'm hoping to get today is number one that my camera doesn't go over the edge with any wind but what I'm hoping to get today is some nice movement in the uh, waves that are below me here I'm probably going to go for a half a second exposure I'm here for sunset it's quite grey as you can see but we might end up getting lucky we could get some nice light because there is a small bit of a break in the horizon so I'll always remain optimistic anyway but yeah I'm going to take one or two shots anyway here and then I'll check back in and I'll let you know what I've done what composition I've settled on and how I've gone about getting the shot So this is my first shot here that I've got set up and as you can see here I'm using these rocks that are leading out to the Blasket Islands and on the left hand side over here as well you've got uh, Dunmore Head but what I'm doing is I'm waiting for the water to come in below here and it's creating some incredible beautiful shapes as it breaks over these rocks. My settings I'm going for is what I typically do from a seascape point of view anyway. I'm shooting at half a second and I'm just waiting for the wave to come through and I'm taking a sequence of shots then as well. I'll catch that wave as it breaks over, but I'll also catch the wave as well as it retreats and it gives a lovely uh, cascade of water. As you can see, like right now, coming down from the side of the rocks down here. So yeah, this is my uh, first composition anyway. As you can see also, the sky here is looking quite ominous. Um, the sun is going to be on this side over here. So hopefully if it breaks below those clouds, these will light up and we'll get some nice uh, photographs but what I'm going to do for now anyway until that happens I'm going to wait like this as you see when these waves come in and then I'm going to time my shot to be able to capture that action capture that motion and capture that movement as it breaks across the rock so yeah that's my first shot anyway and yeah uh, I'll show you this now and then we'll check back in again in a moment
come down now to the old pier and it's all a concrete structure as you can see around me here but there's a nice bit of a curve that's built into the wall that they've done here leading out to the um, Blasket Island that's in the distance. Now as you can see here there's not much light and I don't think I'm going to get much light but still what I've decided to do is to go for a 30 second long exposure and that will smooth out all this water here kind of give it the ethereal effect and the static element being the rocks and the pier then will remain the same settings at the moment actually I've got two ND filters on I've got my equivalent to my six stop and a three stop so nine stops basically on here giving me a 10 second uh, sorry 30 second exposure and I'm focusing one third into the scene as well so that's going to, be able to give me focus the whole way through because I'm shooting at f8 on my um, camera so yeah that's my next set of shots anyway here don't know like I say if we're going to get light but we'll see how I get on anyway but yeah, I'll show you this shot now next and then we'll see what else I can find here if I can find anything at all as the light will change next composition I've come down around the bit of a cove that I have here onto another set of rocks and I'm looking back as pretty much as you can see here in the frame I'm looking at the Blasket Islands I've on Tirucht as well in the distance although it's a bit hazy so there's not going to be much of an opportunity I don't think for that to be in the shot but we might see and um, I'm taking a 30 second exposure and even though it's dull I'm still having to put a number of filters on and I've also got a graduated filter as well just to contain the sky as you can see actually on the frame here the sky is quite bright so um, with that I'm shooting at uh, f11 I'm at 30 seconds and my ISO is at 100 and what that is doing is giving the water a completely smooth effect what I'm also going to do as well is put on my polarizer and see if I can see through the water that we have below here because the water is absolutely crystal clear so I might as well try and utilize that by putting the polarizing on and actually polarize that part of the image so um, I don't think like I say I'm going to get much light so I'm probably going to finish up this episode here thank you very very much as always for joining me I hope you've enjoyed coming along to the old Dunquin Pier in Dingle and if it's your first time on the channel I would really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button give me a like give me a comment and until the next time schlonga fall Thank you.